Nelson served as the second design director for Herman Miller. Uh, he had never worked in furniture design. He was trained as an architect, uh, had worked as an editor and writer, had written about the furnishings industry, and it was this that caught the attention of DJ Dupree. Nelson really wanted a lamp for his own home, and he had seen some hanging lamps that were made in Sweden uh, that were globes covered in, in silk. And since they were fabric, they all needed to be um, cut and sewn and were extremely expensive. He heard that the store in New York that carried them was having a big sale. He ran with a colleague down to the, to the department store and discovered that even the tatty floor model was marked at $125. He recalled a photograph he'd seen in the New York Times that showed how ships that were being retired from World War II were being mothballed by being put under a plastic resin material. And he thought, how about using this industrial material to create a shade? To me, it was very inspiring because uh, what they really did and understood was that the job was about making advantage of the possibilities in, in their time. Today we have announced that we are going to distribute uh, the, the Nelson lamps in, in, in Europe uh, and, and Meta and I are extremely proud and thankful. It may sound wrong, but it has always been our lamp. <laughs> because it has always been in our environment at home. We have always had this lamp hanging over our dining table. In the beginning when we started hay, we, we didn't do any lighting at all. So when we opened shops and stores and showrooms, uh, then the Nelson lamps, they were always on board. Uh, not selling them, but using them as, as decoration in our shops.